Your best football player has to make plays when you need it. Blitz is coming. Heiser right up the middle to drop Jones. Heiser flashed through on a blitz. All ACC performer brings him down. This time they'll get it. Heiser got him again. He just can diagnose things with the best. What a play. It's said that actions often speak louder than words. For inside linebacker Micah Kaiser, the adage could not be more true. The redshirt junior and first-team all-conference performer leads the ACC in tackles, providing a force at the heart of Bronco Mendenhall's 3-4 defense. Despite gaudy statistics and flashy performances, Kaiser lets his actions on and off the field shape his story, one that began at the prestigious Gilman School in Baltimore, Maryland. For me, I like to be a, a well-rounded person, always striving to be my best in the classroom, in the community, and definitely on the field. My mom and dad, they, they raised me, you know, to always be the best in everything that you do and uh, take pride in everything you do, whether it was cutting grass, you know, doing your homework, uh, playing football, playing lacrosse, swimming. You know, I always wanted to be the best and I always wanted to play with pride and really represent my last name. And so just being a Kaiser, that's just how we do things. We're like do-it-yourselfers, even though I'm from Baltimore, so city kid, but at the same time, any yard work that we had to do, if, if things needed to get painted, if my dad was remodeling something, he usually did it himself. To this day, he'll joke around like, man, Mike, uh, you know, you weren't here, but I'll fix some such and such in the backyard. It, it would have made you a lot stronger. So that's how he always, he always liked to say, that's why I'm strong and, you know, good at football, was that hard work and that mentality, that blue collar mentality. Gilman School had a really big impact on me playing Gilman football. Coaches Poji, Coach White, and Coach Russell, they really had a big impact on me growing up. Gilman, you strive to be the best, you know, in the field and in the classroom. My football teams we were always top 25 in the country, played on a top five lacrosse team in the country. Academics and athletics, they go hand in hand. Athletics was a part of the curriculum there, so you had to play a sport. Coming into a, a prestigious school like Virginia, it was very much like going to Gilman. I learned a lot from guys like Darius and, and Ryan. I played on Ryan's lacrosse team, played two years with uh, Darius in football, so they were great role models, and, and coming here was an easy step for me. Kaiser is anything but the prototypical middle linebacker. At six foot two and just over 240 pounds, his physical presence and quiet demeanor are not remarkable. It's his intangibles that make him great. I've never kind of been the biggest, strongest, or fastest guy, especially, in, you know, not now in, in college football. There's a lot of big, strong, fast dudes that run really fast and hit really hard. But, you know, me, I'm just a tough, physical, blue-collar kind of player, and I like to use my instincts and my intelligence on the field to really, you know, give me a better step and, and help me make plays out there. Just having that attitude, and you got to be the rock in there, and, and, and guys will really look to you for leadership. And, and then the games, you know, you're involved in everything. You're trying to get the guys lined up, trying to tell them, you know, maybe what the play might be, what our play is. And so you just need to be a calm, cool, collected, and just do your job. Kaiser's drive for improvement in each aspect of life and the tenacity with which he approaches every task make him a perfect fit for Bronco Mendenhall's 3-4. Less drama, more work. I like to lead by example most, but this year I've kind of grown in, in, in knowing when I need to speak up. That was something that this new coaching staff, Coach Mendenhall, Coach Hunter, Coach Rapinga, uh, all the defensive coaches really challenged me. They said, Mike, the, the guys really look up to you, and, and at times, you need to really speak to them and, and lead them with, with your words. But at my core, I'm a, I'm a lead by example kind of guy and, and just show them the way rather than tell them. I feel like I've been here for a while. I know what hard work means in, in college football, but you know, you know, you really don't until you play with Coach Mendenhall. First learned about the, the less drama, more work motto during will development when, you know, if you don't get that right, you keep doing it over and over again. And so some guys would struggle. Coach Ben Hall would just not say much. He would just say, less drama, more work, less drama, more work. And so just being a defensive player for Coach Ben Hall, that really sits in my heart because that's what we're all about, just being accountable, doing our job, not complaining about anything, not really getting on each other, just knowing what you need to do and doing it. Yeah, defense, less drama, more work, just do it. Statistics on the field can be easily measured, but success can be much more subjective. For Kaiser and the Cavalier defense, dedication to constant improvement is paramount. The biggest thing I've learned from Coach Mendenhall is just you always need to continue to learn and you can never feel like you're, you've arrived or that you know it all. He's reading every day, he's learning, trying to grow each and every day and that's definitely something I've learned from him is just you can never know enough and you can always seek out to learn something and when you stop learning you kind of peak and I don't think anyone wants to peak. 
Our defense as a whole, we play a lot of young guys. Every other player out there is in their first year really playing. So when you look at that Richmond game, that's, this isn't the same team, you know, that's about to step out on the field against Miami this week. Uh, guys have grown and matured a lot. The game's really slowing down for us. Uh, just being able to bring the young guys along and, and showing them how much work it really takes. Keep believing in the message, keep trusting the process, and, and that's definitely helped with us. I've gained a, a lot of brothers through this process. I've learned a lot of football from a lot of great coaches. Been, a, been around a lot of great people. It's been worth it.